Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to write a SQL query to forward fill values, which means if we have any null values in our data, we are going to replace them with the previous not null value. This is also known as the last not null puzzle and is a very common SQL interview question for intermediate to advanced level SQL developers. Now we have already done a video tutorial on this topic and the link is provided enough. So if you want to check it out, you can check it out and you will find that we needed to write a really complex query and split this problem into a few steps to be able to solve it. But now with SQL Server 2022, they have provided an option called the ignore nulls option, which can be used with Windows functions that makes solving this puzzle a single step solution. So let's see how this can be done very easily. So the requirement is simply to replace the null value with a previous not null value. Now, if you have a streak of null values, then with earlier versions of SQL Server, if you want to find out a leg, which is the previous record value, then for this record, you will get null as the previous record value. But we want to ignore this null and we want to be able to retrieve the last not null value. So the data that we are going to work with is simple currency data and you can see that there are some currency rates associated with a date key but for some dates there are no values available and therefore you can see the null records. Now we are going to replace these null values with whatever the currency rate values available for any previous date for the last not null value from the previous dates. We can use either the lag function, which gives us the value of the previous record, or we can use also the last value function, which is going to provide us the last value for this column till the current record. So let's use the lag function. And our column is end of day rate. And since we are writing a windows function, we have to use the over clause. We are going to partition by the currency key and we are going to order by the date key and let's call this as new rate. As we can see, we have got the previous record values and the new rate column. So for the first record, because there is no other previous record, the value is null. For the second record, we have got the value of 0.998 as the new rate value. If the record had a value of null and its previous record also had a value of null, we have got null as the new rate value, whereas we wanted it to be 0.996, which is the last not null value before this record. Now, achieving this is very simple. Just add the ignore nulls clause before the over partitioning and order by clause and execute this query. So here, you can see that if the previous value is not null, except for the first record, obviously, because there's no existing value before that. So if the previous record value is not null, you have got that value. If the previous record value is null, you have got the last value, which was not null. So you have got 0.996 for this record, for 0.996 for these two null records as well. If we scroll down, we will see that we have a value populated now and then we have a null. So for this null value, we have got the previous not null value. Our requirement is to get that previous value only in case the original value is null. So to do that, we can add a case condition. We can write a case expression saying if the original value is not null, then retain the original value, else calculate this leg that we have calculated, the new rate value, and use that. So instead of using the case expression, I'm going to simplify it by using the queries function. Now the queries function picks up the first not null value from its arguments. So as the first argument, I'm going to pass it the column end of day rate, which is our original value. And as the second argument, I'm going to pass it the leg value, the new rate value that we calculated. Now, if you execute this query, you will see that wherever you have a null, you have got the previous record, previous last not, not null value. But if the original value is not null, you've got the same value. So it is as simple as using just the ignore nulls option 
with these windows function you can also use uh, last value function and it is going to give you the same results i hope this video was useful if it was then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching goodbye